Korea. I hope you are doing fine. Thank you for joining my channel again today. And today I will be teaching you how to create a Google Form. And um, if you don't know what to use Google Form to do, Google Form is an online form. That is an online platform that you can use to collect people's data, to make people to do certain tasks and um, to get back to them. It is used to collect people's biodata majorly. Maybe you are running a program or you are running an online business and you want people to subscribe for your products and services. Maybe you are running a program online or an online business or you are selling something and you want to actually have a biodata of your clients and customers. A Google Form is a free tool for you to use and it is very easy to set up. So right away, I'm going to be going to the tutorial and uh, what you just do is to open your favorite web browser and navigate to forms.google.com. So, so as you can see, the tab has already opened the page has been opened but now before you can create a google form you need to have a gmail account or a google account rather so if you look at the right hand side of my screen here you will see uh this panel it is showing that i have a google account and um, this is the account for my business actually so i wouldn't like to use this particular uh google account to open the google form so let me just switch so as you can see that's already been opened so what you can do if you look around here you have a a blank form this will enable you to create your google form from the scratch all right then another one here we have contact information this is a template that has already been made by certain people maybe by google and um, if you actually want to create a form with the contact information collecting the contact information of people you can actually use this template this is for another kind of task rsvp this is another one party invite and this is another one t-shirt sign up but for the sake of this tutorial let us just try and um, create a new google form the one that will enable us to collect few data from people so you click on blank here and um, a new page will be created for you so here is the platform where you use to create google form sorry learn about the new google forms no thanks all right so first thing you do is to name your form so what should we name this so okay let me just use registration from okay so these are the question panel you create questions and um, you create opportunity for people to answer uh, to answer your questions so here I'm gonna request for the names. Uh, let us just use name. And um, one thing you will notice is that the moment you begin to type in your questions, uh, the your entry will be automatically saved. If you watch this site, you will discover what I'm talking about. For this kind of question, Google already knows what type of uh, entry people require when they see certain keywords so before i inserted name let me do it again so that we see what i'm talking about or oh, let us just use another another person can you see this one is automatically saving already so immediately i put in name the other time this tab changed from multiple choice to short 
answer so it was initially on multiple choice then the moment i type name it was changed to short answer so that's the short answer then i would like to make mark this as required it's possible if you are filling certain online forms you will discover that above the uh the required data here you will see a little asterisk like red star on the top like this like a superscript so what was done was that uh, the particular um answer for that thing is being required so if i just switch this on now you will discover that it is going to put it on our final form so i want to add a new question tab so you just come to this panel then you click on plus so the next thing i'm going to require you can see now this is the star i was referring to the other time the next thing i'm going to require is email address so also okay you can see the moment i enter email address we have short answer so i'm going to like to require this also then let me add another question where did you hear about, about us that's a question that demands an answer but for this particular question i would not like to make it an open end question where users can enter any answers they like so i'm gonna create my own choice answers for them so that they can just check through the list and pick the one that is applicable to them so you come to this place and um, you change it to multiple choice so option one for option one let me use television don't mind me whatever i type here it is just for the sake of this tutorial so for this place i will use newspaper the next one i will use radio the next one i will use um social media social media and um, okay let's just stop it like that sorry what's happening we're trying to connect all right guys our phone is back and um i'm gonna also require this field for this particular option if you actually don't want to add many items so you can just throw an open uh option for them also by clicking add order so immediately you click add order so you're gonna allow them the opportunity to enter the specific option it is so add order so it is required then we move to another one why do you want us so this is an open-ended question and um, you can see that it's changed to paragraph this is enabled by the artificial intelligence google is using so i'm going to require this one also then i think this form is becoming rather long actually there's another thing you can do you can ask them to upload a file for example your passport photograph and um, here i'm gonna navigate to file upload so it will enable your respondent to upload the file but now this is gonna put a restriction on the kinds of people that can uh fill your form why because um the owners will be required to sign into google when they are 
entering data their data on this form so for me not to put a restriction on this my particular form let me just cancel this option but i've just shown you how to enable your respondents to upload their files so let me change this question and then um, would you like to get a call from us so okay google is even suggesting options for us yes no then maybe let's just follow it like that i think it's okay so i'm not gonna require this particular question i mean this particular option now there is something we forgot to do the other time and it is to add the description to your form so let me just kind of add a description The next thing to do is to go to the responses tab. As you can see, Google has already set this option to accept the responses. If you just uh, switch it off, the form will not be able to accept any response. And um, this is actually the control panel for your form. Maybe you require people to fill between uh, during a certain period of time when the registration window elapses what you just do is to come to this place and select the uh, not accepting responses option so when people get your link and they try to enter data into their form they will not be able to do that but if it is on people will still be able to enter their data on your form so the next thing to do is to come to this place and this is the place where you get to start your form you customize your form so what should we do um, we have an option of um, inserting our own header but for this tutorial i don't think i have a header on ground so let me just bring it back here so that you see the changes we are trying to apply so you choose the same color the color of your choice if i choose this color you can see the color has been applied if i choose this it has been applied so i think i i like light blue so let's just go for light blue you can choose any color you want then font style if you choose this you can see that the font has been changed but this is something that many people are going to be using so let me just put it uh, let me just leave it as something simple then after that sorry okay we are done with same option customization then let's come to settings before we preview we have um three levels of settings there we have the general we have the presentation we have the quizzes but for the sake of the kind of um, form we are creating so let me use collect email address response receipts what is this for respondents receive a copy of their responses i think you would like to enable that option it will enable your respondents to get a copy of whatever data they submit to you so i'm gonna leave that open okay this one this option is to enable respondents to either choose to get a copy of their entry or to always get it either the demand for it i think let me let me put it on always requires sign in now this area requires uh your respondents to compulsorily sign in to google before they will be able to enter their data on your form you don't want to do that because it is not everybody that uses a google account i mean a gmail account some choose other other platforms so i'm not gonna set that option then this is where you get to control the type of things your respondents can do after submitting your form then 
if you click this place it will enable them to edit after submit i think i don't want that and then this one says see summary chat and text responses no i don't want them to see the summary of my entries so what i'm going to do now move to the next one we are going to save them all together or oh, let's come back and click on save and then come back again presentation show progress bar i think i like that shuffle questions so that no show links to submit another response okay now this tab is very important this is what will be displayed on the screen of your respondents after they might have finished submitting the form so let me just customize the message So let us quickly test the form that you have created so what i'm going to do is to open a private tab so that it doesn't influence what we have done before and then paste the link of the form there and then enter so we are trying to test the form so you can see the title you entered that is the title that the form will carry so Please fill out these details because we selected i mean we set it to required so it is actually requiring us now to enter our detail then where did you hear about us something will happen here if you click on television you're okay click on radio you're okay newspaper you're okay social media you're okay but immediately you click on order because we want you to select or signify a particular channel so you are going to type it in here let me just enter referral from the prime So what to do is to click on submit and um, okay this one requires a Google um, verification this is what you call capture verification so let all images with mountains or hills this is just to verify if it is a real human being entering the data on the form or it's a robot okay so I'm a human being so I'm gonna do the verification okay do we have one thing else here let me see, let me see, let me see, mountain or hill, okay. I think it's gonna give me another one because I, I, I missed this one. Cars, we have car here, and I'll ride, ride, I'll ride, another one, and that's all, I guess. So, you can see, Dear respondent, thanks for filling this form. Your entries have been documented. Expect to hear from us soon. So, because we selected the option to receive another, I mean, to get another response from our respondents, that's why you are seeing this. Thank you. So, guys, thank you for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions, kindly drop your questions in the comment section below. And then do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos. If you like videos like this, you can subscribe so that you encourage me to do more videos and also do not forget to click on the notification bell below so that you get notified as soon as i post another video thank you very much bye